friends. Today is meal planning day, which is one of my favorite days of the month. And this month, um, the month of December, is going to be a little bit different because if you haven't watched my previous video about holiday meal planning, I already have a lot of it done because I'm going to um, use a lot of those recipes for my December meal plan. And so um, I already have a lot of great ideas picked out. So really the only thing that I need to do is go through my pantry, go through my refrigerator, go through my freezer, and just make sure that my pantry, my inventory lists are all up to date. And then um, all I have to do is set up my next month's meal planning stickers so that it's all ready to go um, in case I decide to move anything over to the next month to January. I like to do that at the same time. So those are the things I'm going to work on and then I will show you what we have planned for the month of December. Let's check the freezer. See what's going on here. <sighs> Looks like we're in pretty good I did a pretty good job of keeping inventory, so I am not seeing anything that is not on the list. So I definitely have some leftovers. I've got white chicken chili and some taco meat. I have some Thai soup. A little birthday cake. That's enjoyable. Frito chili pie, tikka masala. That is a tip for you. Um, lots of times my family does not like eating leftovers, and so rather than have it sit in the fridge and then get thrown away, I will put it in the freezer, and then it's perfect to pull out. Like I'll pull out a couple different, um, there's not really enough for the entire family, so I'll pull out a couple of different options for a leftover night, and then everyone can pick what they want. Uh, that way it doesn't go to waste, and then it's a ready-made meal that all I have to do is thaw out. the stickers laid down and this is where I will write out kind of a rough plan um, and they are removable so that I can move them around if I need to so now it is time to set up the rest and this is the kit that I'm going to be using citrus I really liked it so I usually do meals first, I think. Yep. So we're gonna use this one. I have found this system to be so entirely helpful in planning out our meals. Um, it's all in one spot very organized and then I always know where my grocery list is so the next um, like after I'm done shopping for the month then when I want to do it for the following month that list is already ready which is fabulous so now I believe I do the pantry inventory which will go right here You could white out the stuff underneath it if that bothers you seeing it, but it really doesn't bother me, so. Okay, we've got that all set. Then comes, yeah. Now comes my freezer inventory. So let's do a little I have left. 
left. I have this left. This is my grocery list. I know that for sure. Yeah, that's what I will do. Alright, this one's going to be freezer. I like putting the grocery list at the um, back because then I rip this sheet out because I don't use I don't use this um, I don't use this page at the beginning of the next month. So my whole entire grocery list is on this page and I just rip it out when it's time to take it to the store and that works really well for me because there's no reason I need to keep. Um, there's no re reason that I need to keep my grocery list. Because when I am done with it, I am done. Okay, last one is the grocery list, and then I will get to planning our meals. There is a little bonus sticker here that says favorites and that is meant to be used in the back um, where you can keep a list of your family's favorites type of thing. So all of these thin washi strips I will go back through and I will put them at the bottom of the page just to make it look cute. And then this will be labeled, I will divide it up into sections and then I will label these with what store I am going to. This is what we are going to be having for the month of December. Chicken pot pie turnovers, fondue. I think I already talked about this. We're doing that on Christmas day, which that's a really fun thing. Once your kids are old enough, that's a really fun way to eat dinner and we have never done it with the kids. So looking forward to that. Turkey meatballs, I'm gonna bring those to my sister's house. Slow cooker Cuban pork, that's our favorite pulled pork recipe. Slow cooker cracked chicken, terrible name, but super delicious. Tortellini Primavera, that's a Pioneer Woman recipe. Chili Mac, that's one of our staples, we all love it. Bolognese, I don't ever know how to say this word. Bolognese sauce, I don't know, but that is delicious as well. Rigatoni bake, I'm going to make double, and that's what I'm going to have when it is my turn for small group. Ham balls, Swedish meatballs, and then we're having appetizers for New Year's Eve, and this is what we are having for that. Stuffed mushrooms, feta, feta with tomato and capers, that's like a hot feta. Uh, Pioneer Woman Bacon Appetizers, Hot Wings, I'm going to do Buffalo and Sweet Teriyaki, and then Spinach Artichoke Dip. This is the California Pizza Kitchen recipe. It is delicious. Then I'm going to, I'm going to be gone to a couple of ladies events in December, so I need something that they can eat at home easily, so I'm going to get a frozen pizza for one of those. And then for one of them, they're just gonna eat out. I am trying that three package beef roast, which there's lots of variations of this. It's like uh, brown gravy, dry ranch dressing, and Italian seasoning, and you mix it all together. It makes like a gravy. Tacos, beef stroganoff, fettuccine alfredo. This is in the Instapot, which is delicious. Crock pot pork chops with potatoes. This is a new one I'm trying, Instapot burrito bowls. It looks delicious. You do the chicken, the rice, everything all together. That looks delicious. Chicken chimichangas. This is another new one. This is a baked chimichanga recipe, I think. And it has like Mexican white sauce, so it's like a green chili flavor. I think all the kids will really like that. 
salsa chicken bake. This looked um, super easy. And then I'll just serve it with tortilla chips and a salad probably. Venison stew, and the kids have been wanting homemade biscuits. So I will make some biscuits to go along with that. French bread pizza, I always forget about this, but I think the kids would have fun putting their own toppings on it. And then we've just really been liking good grub. This is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. Everybody likes it. It's super easy and delicious. And so I kind of figured I needed like 25 recipes because we're gonna be having lots of leftovers and all that kind of stuff. This might actually last us into January. We'll see how it works out. Then the sweets that I need ingredients for, peanut butter cookies, Santa cookies, raspberry thumbprints, peanut butter balls. I'm trying white chocolate cranberry fudge. That looked good. Amish cream pie. This pie, I don't know why it's so delicious. It's, it's a cross between a cheesecake and like a custard pie. It is so good. And then pecan pie. Julia really wants some pecan pie, so I'm going to make her that. That is what we are having for the month of December. Hope you enjoyed seeing what we are having for the month of December. I'm really excited about it. I think I have some really great options um, for the parties that we're going to and the special meals that we want to have. Um, I've really enjoyed keeping my meals in a separate planner um, by themselves. It just makes it really easy. I love um, going back to the previous months and seeing what I've made and that way if I'm ever short of ideas I can always go back to those months and stuff that we haven't had we can have again. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!